is teamwork? Teamwork's creating a common goal and mission that everybody can agree to. Uh, they can agree to when you go into a meeting and uh, there may be some disagreement, but everybody walks out with their thumbs up saying, I'm bought in, I'm agreed because we've created the common goal at the beginning of the year and I bought into that so I can buy into this decision. Even though I may disagree with it, I can buy in with it because I'm a member of the team. Teamwork is an important leadership trait now more than ever because of our technology. We now have virtual teams across the globe, across the world. We used to all have our team in one room together, no more. So in order for you to be an effective leader of teams, you have to figure out how you're going to reach the virtual members of your team at different times throughout the month, throughout the year. Common obstacles to developing effective teams start at the top. The leader is the one who promotes, builds, designs the culture for the organization. So an obstacle could be that you yourself are in your own way. Once you open yourself up to becoming more transparent to the members of the team, have some empathy and understanding for uh, how you can develop them as people, uh, your team will work magnificently. Some ways that you can assess your present teamwork, I think of two. One, Patrick Lencioni has a book called The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. I use it quite often because it gives you an assessment at the beginning of the work that we do together. We'll do the work through the five different dysfunctions and then we can measure again six, nine, twelve months down the road. Target Training International has another instrument that I use called Teams and it gives a 360 degree review of the leaders of the team and the team members all done by the people that are on the team. So it takes a picture in time of the team and divides it into four different arenas of the team and their effectiveness and then you can pick and work on any one area as you work your way through the year. Four phases of team growth in any team. It could be between you and your spouse, a team at work, an athletic team. The first phase is called forming. It's where you figure out how you're similar, how we're alike. When you go to a cocktail party and you meet somebody new, you find out what sports teams they like, where they grew up. The next phase, which everybody likes to avoid, is called storming. That's where we, dis that's where we figure out our differences. How are we different? That's when leadership in a team starts to have some tension to it, because who's in charge today? If you can get through the storming phase and get to the norming phase, the third phase, which is let's create some team norms or team behaviors agreed upon for the team to move forward, and then you can easily walk into the fourth phase, which is performing. Most teams like to go from forming to performing and miss the storming. If you miss the storming, you won't be able to form agreements on the team to build a team that's got high performance.